Oh, he got the stack, man. He got the stack. We'll see some smoke. Yeah. That boy got that smoke, man. He got that smoke. San Antonio and uh, made it to the HEB where I'm dumping off these damn um, capacity trucks but they were gonna let me unload last night too which would have been cool but I didn't have enough time on my clock and I didn't want to because I was gonna get dirty and I wasn't gonna have enough place to take a shower so I tried to just stay and sleep on the property and unload in the morning but they wouldn't let me do that so I had to drive out of my legal limit, off my clock, like a few miles down the road to the Flying J. And now it is 8.30. And I'm gonna drive back over there right now to get these capacity trucks off me. But first, I'm gonna brush the good old teeth. So I'm gonna brush the teeth. But this load, um, it rode really well and you know, it was very top heavy. It was top heavy, I could feel it. It would rock you left and right. You know, when you were going on turns, you would feel it. You would feel, you know, you made a right turn. You could kind of feel the weight going to the left. You know, it was a little topsy-turvy, but other than that, man, it was solid. It was solid. So, hey, it feels good out here this morning, in San Antonio, I mean, I don't know what the temperature is, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say it's about 70 probably gonna get hot today though you know it's definitely gonna get hot but it feels feel, you, can, you know you're in texas now it's like this tropical weather it feels really good in the morning you know when the sun comes out and it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon it's just miserable it's hot but you know definitely a shorts no t-shirt kind of day you know it feels good we got a little light breeze and everything we go ahead and brush the teeth man and we're gonna get down the road and get these damn things off of here We are here at your favorite grocery chain store in all of Texas, maybe even in the country, H-E-B. Here's their fleet truck right here. That's how you know it's real. So anyways, gonna go ahead and pull my ramps up, set them up back here, unchain these bastards, drop them out, get the paperwork signed, you know the deal, same thing every day. Time lapse. I remember how to do this now. So you, obviously you gotta turn the switch on the battery now. On again. Turn and hold that to the right for three seconds. And I've been doing that, but this is what fucked me up. I didn't know you had to press and hold down the start button. You gotta hold the start button for at least three seconds. What I do right now is I got an inch forward, probably about six inches so I can get that ramp to fit under there. I can't get down without killing myself. 
Now that I've got space under here, I can put this ramp under here. All right, so he's over there checking the numbers on them, making sure the VIN matches and they're in good shape or whatever. Then he'll sign my paper. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and get on down the road to the next pickup. Well, you gotta watch out for these trees, man. They'll take your antenna off, see? They will take your antenna off, for real. 